Leanne Feldman here from TT for T, and today I'm going to show you how to create a shortcut on your iPad to your email. This is a handy feature if you're using a shared model with your iPads. Start by going to Settings and tap on Settings, and then go to General and go down to where it says Keyboard. Tap on keyboard, and then if you notice at the very bottom, it says add a new shortcut. And basically what you can do is put in a phrase, and then put in a little shortcut to that phrase, and then you don't have to do all that typing every time you want to use something that you use regularly. For example, your email. So for the phrase, I'm going to use my email account that our school district gave us. So I'm going to type that all in here. And notice how long it takes me to type this in. That's why this is a great thing to make into a shortcut. So since my name's Ann Feldman, I'm going to make my shortcut AF for Ann Feldman. And then I'm going to go ahead and tap on Save. Now, anytime that I want to type in my email address, all I have to do is type in AF and hit the space bar and that will trigger my entire email address to just pop in. So let's check that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my four finger push and go into Safari and I'm going to go into Gmail and that would be mail.google.com to get into my Gmail. Now for my username Instead of having to put in my full address, all I have to do again is type in AF, and then my trigger is the space bar. And boom, it will just go right in for the username. Then type in your password and sign in. This will be a tremendous time saver if you're using the shared model on your iPad. So anytime you have to sign in with your, your email account, it's just your two initials, and then you hit that space bar and it just triggers your entire email address to pop on in. Now, I do want to give you a little advice if you ever need to remove a shortcut. So let's take a quick look at that. Let's again do four finger push back to settings and let's go back down here and now if you notice where it says AF and it has my email address, I can swipe from left to right and delete that. So if I made a mistake and need to redo it, I certainly can. Now, another way to do that very same thing is by tapping the edit button in the top right corner. And then notice there is a red minus sign in front of the different phrases. So all I have to do is tap on that and again it pulls up that delete. So once in a while we make a mistake, need to fix something, we can remove a shortcut. So, there you have it. That is how you can create a keyboard shortcut for a phrase and really save yourself some time and all of that typing. So, thank you for watching. TT for T. Tea.